Request game number two. Alright, giggity giggity goo. M1 Garand, stopping power, flamethrower, and dead silence. What's the attachment I've chosen? I've chosen the bayonet. Ah, oh, I love that attachment. Good old bayonet. Um, let's see. A lot of problems this evening, actually. For the time I was playing, uh, I was lucky I got to play, actually. My homework today. Um, yeah. It's not, I'm not going to complain about my connection today. But I will complain about everyone else's connection. Uh, namely the... Namely every single host that I seem to get, like... I don't think I was hosting any of them today, but... And all the hosts that happen to get... It's like, um... You can tell how good a host is by... Like, they'll always have four bars, obviously, but... The, the number of bars that all the other players have, um... Will determine... You know, will show you how good a connection they have. If everyone has four bars, you can tell they're a good host, right? Is what I'm saying. I don't think anyone... That happened in any games. And as many people tell you, anything lower than four bars is just not good enough, to be honest. It's just really hard to... Especially with the M1 Garand. Many of you will realise how hard this gun is to use. I personally quite like it, but only with a four-bar connection, to be honest. Ah, this was this was close enough. Uh, three, four borderline, maybe. But yeah, I swear, like, every host... Every host I get... Not me hosting, but every host that I, I have to... Like playing a game with, um, is it, they always seem to be watching Fred or something on YouTube. I don't know. It's something that basically drains the connection, or maybe Happy Tree Friends, or Two Girls One Cup. I don't fucking know. It's something, um, it's just something that puts a drain on the connection. I mean, I'm, I'm, I like to think of myself as a kind of considerate player. All right, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Did you see how far off um, my aim went? Off. Obviously, I would have put it right in the middle of all the red dots normally, but I should explain. Really, my controller, um, the left analog stick, always gets stuck at the top. If you move it up to the top and then let go, it will stay there. So when I move my hand off and press X, uh, as I found out, it, it kept moving. So the artillery got moved way off where I was supposed to put it. So I couldn't really get anything from that. This is kind of disappointing. I need, I need to fix that controller and get a new one, maybe. I have every handicap imaginable, I swear. Okay, M1 Garand, long range weapon. Uh, in the main. Outclassed by pretty much every other rifle at short ranges because although it is semi automatic, its rate of fire is somewhat restricted. I think it's less restricted with double tap, but. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, this is the only semi automatic that benefits from double tap. I've tried it and it does seem to work. Oh, I'll tell you what else I've discovered uh, rec uh, recently. The um, the whole thing about people calling them dogs after they die. That's sort of half true. Um, let me tell you what I mean. Um, the way it works, and I'm about 90% confident, confident that this is true. I, I imagine everyone else has their own theories. You'll probably comment saying, Oh, that's wrong, Paratos. Uh, this is the tried and tested kind of thing for me that I found works. What I found is that... Um, Dogs and maybe artillery. I haven't really tried of artillery yet, but definitely dogs um, will only start building like a new streak if you've got a kill in another way first. Let me explain. Uh, let me give an example. Okay, you get a seven kill streak. You get the dogs, and then you're killed, right? Okay. Then if um, you come back alive and you use the dogs straight away, right? That's what most people would do. Um, oh, you'll notice when I need to reload, I usually just shoot instead of reload, it's quicker. But only of the M1 Grands. Um, uh, what was the example I was giving? Okay, you call them in and your dogs start to get kills, but you notice you're not getting any recons or anything from them. You have to start a new streak all by yourself. But try this, right? Next time you get the chance, I want you to try this. When you die and come back to life, you kill one person with your gun, or a grenade, or a Betty, or something else something that isn't dogs or artillery. You kill one person like that, and then you call in the dogs. And then, oh look at this, I go on a fucking mental streak. And I was bored, alright? I wanted a spray. I was I was just feeling lazy. That's not a practical thing to do. I wouldn't advise anyone doing that. I was wrong. But yeah, next time you get the chance, try getting one kill with your gun, or grenade, whatever, then calling in the dogs. And I, 
I'm almost certain that it will count to a new streak. I think that's how it works. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's the best theory I've heard so far. I don't know who I've heard it from, but or maybe I just found it. I, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, try it. Swapping around SMGs and Mongorands. Because this thing is shit at close range. Although I do have the flamethrower. Good choice of that, by the way. Flamethrower, and I'm happy with the way uh, this request went. It's, it is a pretty good combo. Although not with lag. <laughs> How many shots is that? There's a clear difference between like when they should die and when they do die. And... Yeah, there you go, lag again. Although, to be fair, he probably did deserve to kill me there. He did deserve it, I think. What am I going to say? Uh, I think I've got to say at the end of this. Yes, in accordance with my agreement I've made with Double Jord, you have to go subscribe to him. I'm afraid that's how it's going to work. Why should you subscribe to him, you ask? Well, because he's a brilliant Call of Duty player and... And... Um, yeah, he is. And you'll be interested in watching his videos. I'm going to continue this commentary after this video is finished because I've got more to say. I'll put Double Jord's um, link in the description to his channel. So go subscribe to him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's doing the same for me right now, so... Uh, his little agreement we made. Okay, I'm going to keep talking now. The ads, uh, the ads and the website are going very well. Upon uploading this, I'm going to reset the polls, uh, and now now you can start voting for the next request game. Vote for whatever you want. Don't care. I realised I forgot to put the PTRS on, <laughs> but um, I'm sure we'll get over that. If if we're really desperate for the PTRS, I might change it. All right. Um, next point. Um, next point. The adverts. The adverts. Revenue is going pretty well at the moment pretty close to the HD PVR. Just need one last boost, so I, I urge all of you, please, 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 uh, please go go to the page, uh, refresh a few times, this is important, you need to refresh a few times before you click, or after you click, it doesn't matter, just as long as the ratio between clicks and refreshes, or um, impressions, as the ads call it, um, is, you've, you've got to have a lot more kind of um, impression thing to do clicks, that's the way it works. Uh, like I said, it goes to the Hopag HTPVR, if that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. Um, okay, thank you all for being so considerate, and I hope you'll vote for a request game now, and click the ads while you're at it. Why not? Doesn't cost you a thing. Anyway, um, I'm going to do the Q&A answers thing tomorrow, I think. I'll probably record that tomorrow and then upload it. So, yeah. Click the ads. Goodbye.